right? Well, as of January 31st, Fed officials did not see any kind of a rate increase in their future. Agreeing at their meeting, the policy rate was likely at its peak for this tightening cycle. But there was no consensus on when they might start cutting and no real hints in the minutes about what they would be looking at to decide. The future path of the policy rate would depend on incoming data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks, the minutes say. Cutting too soon was seen as a bigger risk than waiting too long, according to the minutes. Quote, most participants noted the risks of moving too quickly to ease the stance of policy and emphasized the importance of carefully assessing incoming data in judging whether inflation's moving down sustainably to 2%. But not all felt that way, suggesting at least a small split in the committee. A couple of participants pointed to downside risks to the economy associated with maintaining an overly restrictive stance for too long. Although they did not have January's stronger jobs and consumer price inflation data numbers, participants noted momentum in aggregate demand might be stronger than currently assessed. Several also worried the risk that financial conditions could become less restrictive could add undue momentum to aggregate demand and cause progress on inflation to stall. Geopolitical considerations got a small nod, as did slower growth in some foreign economies. And then finally, on the balance sheet, members agreed it was important to continue balance sheet reduction at its current pace, feeling so far it had proceeded smoothly. Many of them said it would be appropriate to begin in-depth discussions on the balance sheet at the March meeting, something Chairman Jay Powell had confirmed in his January 31st news conference.